Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. We have some interesting news here on the Dallas Cowboys and the dysfunction that is the Dallas Cowboys. We have Jerry Jones, who is literally getting on my last damn nerves. Seriously, get this shit done, man. I'm tired of waiting for all the bullshit here. Here's what Jerry Jones has to say after, you know, we're in no rush to get this thing done. It's a good thing he's not here because he'd be risking getting injured. Do what? So here's what owner and general manager of the Dallas Cowboys has to say. Well, we're having some promising talks regarding the contract extension. That's it. What you expected more? You expect you really expected more. Come on, bro. Seriously, we're talking about Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones who loves to have the drama. Now we're sitting here. We're sitting here with 16 days until the season begins. We have a couple more because we play on Sunday. But there's not much time to get him in here. You're not going to do that much more work between now and then before your first game. And we are just doing what we do. Other news. Here's other news for, for you guys. Is he's also talking about Trigger Trey. Trey Lance. Oh, boy. Okay. Jerry, one who's never like never had a... Um, desire not to have controversy says that Trey Lance will be on the 53 man roster this season. However, he needs to see more from Lance. Well, that's really kind of like, thank you, captain obvious, because if you end up not putting him on the 53 man roster, and a lot of people take it, oh, this is a message to Dak Prescott. With the lack of quarterbacks out there and the fact that you gave up a fourth-round pick and the fact that the Cowboys actually were the only team in the NFC East that actually scored some real points. I think the Eagles got 14 points. What, the Commanders get 10? Daniel Jones, I think, got, what, two interceptions and two completions? So you look at that and say, Trey Lance, after – having some, you know, using his legs and having some decent passes and no interceptions, Daniel Jones, that if you ended up cutting him, somebody would pick him up. So thank you very much for saying he's going to make the 53-man roster. I don't know who thought he wasn't going to make the 53-man roster. He says, however, though, he needs to see more. Jerry Jones says he needs to see more from Trey Lance, but added that Lance will be on the Cowboys 53 bed roster. Okay. So, yeah. So there's that. Um, that's all we got, man. Drama. That's all we got. If there's any good news, the Cowboys are working out. They're getting stronger. The players, contrary to all of the other stuff that's going on, seem to be gelling and getting together. You know, when we had some of the drama that we had in the offseason, like Malik Hooker and um, Micah Parsons, Micah Parsons to me seems like he's taking on an even bigger role in leadership-wise. And I ain't seen no podcast. I ain't seen no podcast so far. And they seem to be working well. I see a Mozzie Smith who's out there busting ass. I see the new coaches getting the players' attention where they seem to be like they're buying in. It's not like 2020 when we heard the, you know, the offense is too complex when we ended up getting Mike Nolan in. I see Dak Prescott looking like he's in midseason form. And I see players that are beginning to really step up into the role. Jake Ferguson looks to be taking off from where he was last year. Um, Jalen Tolbert looks to be the real deal. And we have some rookies out there who very easily could have been, well, you know, 
I'm not going to be starting because, you know, Chima Nagoda was set to be the starter along with Brock Hoffman. But the young guys said, oh, hell no. I ain't giving up this thing just yet. I'm a first and a third round draft pick. And they are busting a hump trying to make a name for themselves. So we're seeing some really good competition out there. And as much as everybody talks about Mike McCarthy being on the hot seat, I don't see that with Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy looks, and, and maybe Mike McCarthy's thinking, let me coach this season and get this team to the playoffs, and I can get the hell out of here and get me another job because, you know, we'll be four times in the playoffs. With Jerry Jones screwing up things like CeeDee Lamb. Honestly, I'm going to say as far as Jerry Jones goes, I'm tired of hearing him talk because all he's doing is is tricking our emotions every day. What I want to see is Jerry Jones come out and say the deal is done. I want to see some action. I'm tired of hearing we're all in. We're you know, we're all we're, we're, we're all in on these contracts. You know, this all in that keeps being redefined left and right. <clears throat> but hey, you can always choose to be a fan of another team that's got less drama. That's all you can do. But if you choose the life of the Dallas Cowboys, you know, you know, you know what it's like. All right, so Trey Lance will be getting a lot more playing time this weekend. Trey Lance will be at the Dallas Cowboys for at least one more year. And we don't know what that means for Cooper Rush. It might be that Cooper Rush is Cooper Rush on the hot seat. Cooper Rush has not been getting a whole lot of work. So we'll see what happens. All right, you good people. I don't think there's anything else major. Oh, Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks. We don't know why exactly. But Mike McCarthy in his press conference said that Brandon Cooks will be leaving for something good. We don't know what the good thing is, but Brandon Cooks will be leaving and will be joining them back in Dallas. He is done um, with training camp in Oxnard. So hopefully, is he getting married, a birth of a baby? I don't know. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's supposed to be good news. All right, good people. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, as well as you ladies. And I hope your Taco Tuesday is a really good one. Peace out.